Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for viewing this video. Our topic for discussion is radio propagation mechanism. Today, we are going to take a close look what is refraction, what is refraction, deflection, and last but not least, scattering. This is my email. If you have any difficulties on today's video, please send me an email. Let's start by taking a close look what is radio propagation. This is a transmitter. This is a receiver. Right in between the transmitter and receiver is separate by air. And when we want to send a signal over the air, we know that we need to convert the signal into electromagnetic wave. So what happened here is the electromagnetic wave will propagate towards the recipient. Okay, without any obstacle, they will continue on and on and on. And the signal basically antenna with distance, which means that the signal becomes weaker with respect to distance. So what happened is when the electromagnetic wave hit an obstacle, there are four possible outcomes. Number one, refraction. Number two, refraction. Number three, deflection. And number four, scattering. So let's take a close look. What is refraction? As mentioned earlier on, when electromagnetic wave hit an object, okay, which is very large as compared to their wavelength, refraction actually occur. Okay, for example, the object like building, okay, which is considered very large as compared to the wavelength of electromagnetic wave, hence refraction occur. For a smooth surface, we can assume that the angle of incident is equal to angle of refraction. So take a look here. The electromagnetic wave hit an obstacle, okay, which is very large as compared to the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave. Refraction actually occur, and we can assume for a smooth surface, the angle of incident is equal to the angle of refraction. So this is one of the assume that we can make for a smooth surface. One of the application for reflection is fiber optic. You can see from here, the fiber optic is reflected. And what happened here is you can see that reflection actually help to keep this pin of light to trap inside the cable. Even the fiber optic band the light still keep within the cable. So this is refraction. Next, let's understand what is refraction. When electromagnetic wave pass from one medium to another medium, refraction occur. Refraction is governed by this law, Snell's law. When a wave pass from low end to high end, it bends towards the normal. Okay, so this dotted line is the normal line. When a wave passes from high end to low end, it bends away from the normal. If n is the same, okay, which means that they have the same n number, the wave does not bend. Okay, so this is a definition of refraction based on the different value of n, okay, whether it bend towards the normal or away from the normal, or if both the medium is the same, the light does not bend. I have a little animation to show you what happened here is the electromagnetic wave enter from one medium to another medium. So we can see that the speed of the electromagnetic wave slow down when they actually pass through N2. 
over here you can see that when wave move into a slower medium the wave front get compressed you can see they get compressed for the wave front to stay connected at the boundary the wave must change direction okay so more or less i guess now you have some idea what is reflection next we take a close look what is deflection okay when radio wave hit a sharp obstacle okay so this obstacle must be sharp must be at the tip of the obstacle also they have a nature tendency to bend around the tips of the obstacle so another definition is also called the bending of wave around an obstacle so this is all defined as deflection so you can take a closer look what happened here is basically there are two small opening here the electromagnetic wave propagate and basically they pass through these two small opening okay you can see that deflection actually occur okay over here you can also see the 2d okay, deflection with with changing animation here okay so let's take a look how it changed okay last but not least scattering okay when electromagnetic wave hit a rough surface or a very small object as compared to the electromagnetic wave scattering actually occur so scattering means that they actually reflect into many directions as you can see from here and it's basically classified as scattering so you can see this is the incident wave they hit a small object for example like rain okay they were scattered all over the place so this is another illustration okay one of the application of scattering is aircraft weather radar so what happened here is when you on board on the aircraft okay sometimes the pilot will tell you the weather ahead so how does the pilot know the weather ahead is they actually send out an electromagnetic wave at the tip of the aircraft when it actually hit a rain okay the energy actually scattered and from there the pilot know that the weather in front okay there's a very high possibility that the rain is right in front so this is the application of scattering okay with this i end my video thank you so much please like and subscribe thank you